This is one of those videos, you guys. I, first of all, have to say, we are cooking. Cooking in the kitchen, and I don't even know how to cook. And my eyes still twitching. I read some of y'all's comments. You're like, Nick, this is a sign of something really bad. Well, you know what? It's still twitching. I've been eating very healthy lately. We're having cheese. Okay. Okay. We're having cheese. Thank you to everyone who's gone over to my new channel, by the way. If you haven't gone there yet, click the link. I'm going to pin it. It's called Nick Okado Shorts. And um, that's where I upload my shorts. They're like little TikToks, but for YouTube. And they are like 15 to 60 seconds of me shopping, living my life. I just posted an another one today. So go check it out. And speaking of TikToks, I looked at my TikTok yesterday. I I'll look right now, actually. 1.9 million views from yesterday. And the one before that has 1.9 million views. And the one before that has a million views. And the one before that has 2.5 million. Where are all these people? Jesus, Mary and Joseph. I had a very productive day today. I had five meetings and I spent like two hours writing, just alone, maybe three hours writing emails. You guys, I'm working on some stuff off camera and I'm not telling you, but it's just, it's just never ending. And it's just this and this and this and this, 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 and this 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 and I'm getting upset. Is it, I, I feel like, oh my gosh. And I did have some breakfast. I had some of my favorite curry ramen noodles. And I'm like, you know what? I'm just one of those moods where I feel like eating that all over again. Have you ever had the same thing for breakfast, lunch, and dinner? Well, I'm about to do that for you. <gasps> ah! Did he really have to fill it that high? It's his fault. And I just showered too. I look so cute. Aww. Oh my gosh. You guys. Now, this is going to be a cooking part. Don't forget, I opened up. Well, there's only like three left, but... Who knows if they'll be there by the time I make this video, but click the link and see if they're available still. Any seats left. On my Patreon account, I am, well, you can watch me smash a pizza in my face for 12 minutes straight. That YouTube wouldn't let me post. All right, remember, less water, less is more. Less is, ooh, my double chin looks bad today. I'm getting so fat. Oh my gosh, you guys, I only have 302 days left of bum bum. <coughs> if I stop on May 19, on my 30th birthday, that means there's only 302 days left of the hurrah. 302 days, that's not enough food. And actually, honestly, it can't come soon enough. Cheaper scrapers, uh, my water weight is getting out of control. So um, make sure you keep in track for me. There's 302 days left of mukbangs and then I'm done. Okay. So let's start the cooking show. Now, I'm gonna kind of set this to the side a little bit. Just get that water going. But yes, oh, or they forgot to bring me something to drink. Great. Now, I would like to finish all my food for you guys today. Like, people love when I finish my food. And I don't really get to do it because of all the meat and stuff. It's hard to eat a lot of meat. What's well, actually, well, Yes and no, I don't even know. All I know is that I want to finish my food today, so I'm thinking about doing five packs. I think six might be a little overkill. I really don't know. <sighs> we could do six, I am fat. Let's just do five, well, let's do six. <laughs> let's do six. I don't know though, maybe it won't be enough. Let's do five, because I want to eat all my food and lick my fingers when I'm done and then have dessert. Okay, okay. And before you say that's not enough food, each one of these is 600 calories. Hey Siri, what's six times five? 3,000 calories, I did math. It's actually not, it's 555. Six times 5,000 is 30,000. 30,000 calories, okay, we'll put that in the title. Maybe people will click it. So I hope you guys are doing well. Welcome to my intro. This is me. I look really fat right now. It's because I zoomed in. The camera's stretching. <clears throat> oh wait, we have to. <coughs> I'm choking. Baby Boo Boo Snowflake Pumpkins Orlin. So I just put a little bit of um, saffron in here. Get in there. Okay. Okay. That's expensive. Can you please bring me a glass of water for my fun? What? I'm not in. What happened? Sorry, not, I didn't hear you. I'm not telling them I have diabetes. They know. No, they don't actually know. So what do you need? Wait, let me start over. Let me get prepared. Baby, can you please bring me a glass of water to drink? Okay. As opposed to bathing of it? To drink as opposed to tap water. 
this stuff is very, I can't wait to eat this, okay. We're not doing butter today, but we are doing cheese. Now the key to making these noodles perfect is to not overcook them. You wanna have a little snap, a little bite to the noodles. And people don't follow the instructions. Well, it really depends too how high of a heat this goes. This is very low, so I don't. Okay, let me tell you. Um, this morning I made it at the regular stove in the regular kitchen, and I cooked this for myself literally 60 seconds, and I was done. It was like bubble, like <laughs> like bubbling. And I put two of them in with some cheese, and literally after 60 seconds, literally maybe maybe 70 seconds, ah. Uh, out they came and they still had a snap they had a little chew they had a little bite but they were soft but they were oh they were so good and that's what i want to recreate but this is very slow it's not smart like me you're very slow too honey you're slow this took forever where were you um i was getting water <sighs> you guys i've been having all these weird let, right before bed my feet tingle and my, right below, everything below the knee. Have I told you, every single, every single night, from my knee down to my feet, they start tingling. It's from a clock. No, I Google it. It says the only possible things that could be was nerve damage, stress, or di What? Or a diatrammy, tramins, tramony. Okay. What Which I, I don't think I have diatrammy, tramin, tramin. You just have chronic clogging syndrome. Yes, there we go. Oh my gosh, this could be a thing. Chronic. Shh. I, you're gonna say the D word. Don't say the. Don't say the A P D. The only D you get from me nowadays. You don't give me. Actually, actually, let's set the record straight. If you want to play this game in front of my subscribers, the only reason why you don't put anything in is because it's stank. It only stank because it clogged. Because you go once a week. That's not true. I go like five times a day. I have chronic diarrhea syndrome. No, it literally food goes in and does not come out. That's not. It does not come don't. out. I'm gonna get it. It does not come out. You I'm used to be like a sea cucumber. I'm gonna no, get no, no, no. a sea cucumber. That's take, what it used to be like. So now take this. Anymore. Take this. Now you're literally just a bean bag. You keep swelling up, swelling up, and not really doing anything. You're just storing it all the time. Now, I'm going to be very careful with this whole noodle ordeal, so we're going to put these in first. Put these in second. I'm only doing five packs today so I can finish my food. You always finish your food. No, I don't. Well, for them. Off camera, I do. You literally dip your face on it up to turn off the camera. Not, not, not immediately after a couple hours of digestion. You're getting on my nerves now. I thought we were gonna have a nice day. Take all that and throw it away. We have had a nice day in here. Please give me the scissors. I can I reach? I can't reach. It's unsafe. There you go, honey. So I guess I could put. Well, let's make sure these are ready. Okay. We're actually gonna add one little slice of cheddar. To, this is a recipe. Follow along, people. Ah, this Costco one is bending and snapping all different ways. We're gonna put this. <coughs> There's something in my throat. Um, Nobody asked for your, your I'm input. I'm gonna say what you have in your throat. Nobody but. asked for. <coughs> That's with an H. <coughs> all right, put, up, put put that in there. Bye bye. Let's see if it disintegrates. I want some cheesy water. <coughs> What's happening to me? I'm falling apart. Okay, see how it's like disintegrating? That's what we want. <clears throat> That's what we want. We're not, we're not, we're doing butter. Ouch! It's disintegrating faster than you're looking There's at the muck bugs. Water just fell from the ceiling. Really? Yes. No. Yes. No. I feel on my back. That's just your sweat. I mean, fat. No. Okay, so here we go. <clears throat> I have to be very careful and very exact because you guys know. We don't like the ramen overcooked. So I'm actually gonna move this toward you so you can see. Make sure this doesn't fall, Orlin. Make sure it doesn't fall. What? Make sure it doesn't fall. There How? Is... By watching. And then we flip this over here. You guys, I'm so excited for these noodles. Uh, Are they done? I'm watching. Can you believe <laughs> I have 35,000 followers on my new shorts channel already? Oh. Thank you, everybody. 
I'm gonna be shouting, <clears throat> shouting some people out from the comments. Be like, I see you went over. I appreciate that very much. Okay, put this in there. There's not enough water. It also, it's not going fast enough. This thing does not get as hot as the regular stove in the regular kitchen with the regular electricity. But your subscribers want you to see you make it. No, because they're stupid and they don't know how to make noodles. They need my famous recipes because I'm very good at this. Again, see a little snap, but not that snappable. Not that snappable. Okay, actually, honestly, we're almost done. We have to flip this one like a pancake, get in there, thank you. And trust me, I know exactly what I'm doing. It's almost like we're steaming the ramen too. It's gonna be magnificent. This is the way, I like it. Put this one in here. We also might need a little bit more water, but first we're gonna... I have a headache. Just enough so that these bend. See what I mean? See what I mean? You know what I mean. Hello, shine bright like a diamond. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. All right, this should be, yep, that's bendable. And the last one, number five. We do need a little bit more water, but again, not too much. Not too much. That's it. That might have just kind of messed it up, actually, that little drop. You never know. Because I like my noodles not soggy. And it's so crazy. People will just keep it in soup, noodle soup. Ugh. <clears throat> Trust me, this is the best recipe on YouTube. I actually have a video called Making My Famous Noodles. Check it out. It's on this channel, I believe. How to make my famous ramen noodles. What I got famous for. 25 million views. 35 million views. Two of them have like 20, uh, 18 million views each. Okay, people like to see me eat these things. And I'm so glad for it because they're so good. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. Oh, now. <clears throat> now we're going to add our... We should have actually added this first, okay? This is the spice. It's nice and spicy, because that's what spice does. It kind of hurts. He's over the same one. Okay, I had a you-know-what to him today after breakfast, which was this, because he likes the feeling of the spice on the, well, you know. So it, it, it makes him happy. I don't know why. It just does. Okay, we're moving this around. So I'm doing three packs of spice for five packs of noodles. So that will be pretty, pretty dang spicy. Good enough. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know. Now watch your eyeballs, everybody. Now we're going to put it on low heat. I'm going to have to stand. Don't look at my, uh, don't look at any of the rolls. I'm wearing blue today. Okay. I got splashed everywhere. Okay, now, real quick, I'm gonna take, I should have prepared this part. I'm such a bad preparer. Put some over here. Put some over here. Put some over here. And put a little bump over there. Just a little bit. Just a little bump. Get in there. Not all over, just that one spot. Perfect. And now, we let it cook. I love cheese. That's literally it. And then when I pull it out, it's gonna be magnificent. Okay, I don't like when he towers the napkin so high. I'm, I'm glad he restocked it for me. But when I put my hand in, it's uncomfortable. As you guys know that's my favorite word to say now, uncomfortable. It's not comfortable. It's not uncomfortable. It's comfortable. I am able to, able to be comforted. Are you uncomfortable? Are you unable to be comforted? Uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. Now we don't want this stick into the pot either. Okay. So let's make sure this ain't stick. Ooh. It is sticking to the pot. Cheapers, creepers. Just enough so it don't stick. Orlin, please bring me the little, uh, um, 
what you may call that thing? The little camera stand. What did you want? Is that yeah. What happened? A camera stand, the one that I like to put closer to me, it's too far away. Okay. Thank you. I'm not having it today. I'm so hungry. I'm gonna swallow this hole. I'm so excited. <laughs> I love my job. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, my double chin. Sometimes this snaps. Let's pull it up. The it's other one. Yeah, purple chin. The other one. The black one. Okay. Oh, you guys, this is. Look, see this cheese coming out? Okay, I'm so excited. I love how I'm like, don't fry the, this don't, one? yes. I'm like, don't cook the noodles for more than 60 seconds. So look, it's been like five, 10 minutes, but here's the thing, it's this one. Oh, get the cheese. It's that, this one is low speed. Low, low electricity. I think it's good though. I'm hungry now. You could be eating this with me, but I didn't make enough for both of us, so goodbye. Okay, everybody, so I'm gonna show you what it looks like. When I take this, you're gonna smile for people, aren't you? Thank you. Ooh. You're so dramatic. How did I end up with such a dramatic husband? How did I end Ooh. up with an actual beanbag? Make husband? sure nothing falls. How? With my bare hands? You should have been prepared. You weren't prepared. Excuse me. We've been doing this for how many years? Five years. Cool. Learn how to mukbang. Yeah. Oh, honey, they look perfect. I See? I'm talking. Okay, everybody. Mmm. Get all these little. Okay, I need to be better prepared. I should actually. Oh, this is so heavy. I'm about to drop it. Oh, God. Yeah, put it on the floor. Yeah, yeah, do that. That's a great idea. You can go get it. I'm done with you. It's heavy. Oh, yes, put it on top of a table. That's really safe. Well, there's no one to do it for me, and I'm supposed to have stuff done, 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 done for me. I love cheese. Da, da. Oh my god, look at this cheese. We love cheese. Dun dun. I love cheese. Da, dun. Yes, I do. I love cheese. Wait. It needs to be a better brightness. See, I know about how I know more about thumbnails than you think. Shine bright like a diamond. Thank you. I love cheese. Da dun. I love cheese. Da dun. We love cheese. Da dun. I'm so excited. Yes, we do. Let's do it all together. Here we go. We love cheese. Oh. Da dun. We love cheese. Da dun. We love cheese. Da dun. Yes, we do. We do. First, gonna try this. Honestly, I'm just gonna like put it in this bowl here. Ah, oh, my little Korean bowl. I am so excited. Let's kind of just yeah, pull that up like that. Oh. Okay, <clears throat> now, this is what it looks like. Oh, that looks really good. Ooh. Mmm. Want to get a video just for you? Surprise your friend and tell him it's your fault. I'm Kali Corbett. Click the link below and get yourself a cameo. <laughs> there are the hiccups. I knew they were coming. I could feel it in my system. <clears throat> oh, 
This is really good. Slightly overcooked. Slightly. And for most people, Orland doesn't like it the way I like it. This is for me, you know what I mean? I like them to be a little, I'm actually kind of getting angry now. Hold on, let's try again. Mm. No, they're perfect. They are chewy. And they have a little snap to them. And a little bite. <clears throat> like it tastes like it could cook longer, and that's how I like it. When I told you <clears throat> I would be feasting. Again, two announcements for the people who skipped the intro. One, follow my brand new channel, link down below. Look in the comments. Look, I'm looking to see who's over there. On my new channel, <clears throat> we just hit 30,000, no, 25,000 subs or something like that. Thank you, everybody. <coughs> and go to my Patreon if you want to see me smash a pizza in my face for 12 minutes. That YouTube video will let me post. I did all of that exercise and manual labor, smashing pizza in my face, and YouTube was like, you can't post this. So you have to go to my Patreon if you want to see it. Mm. Here we go. Oh my god, I am sweating so hard and it just feels so good. Do you know how much I love ramen? Oh my god, I'm sweating. I love this. I love the ramen sweat. Mm -hmm. mm -mm -mm. It feels so good to eat. Eat food that I just crave every day. Do you know how often I crave this? Let's go for this chunk of cheese. <clears throat> oh. Oh, these ones are even less cooked. Perfect. Here we go. Here, this right here. We'll pair that with the cheese. Okay. Don't fall or I'll be very upset. I would I would fight for ramen. I I would fight for ramen. Yes. Mm-hmm. 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 Cheese. When I tell you, I am happy. <clears throat> I am happy. Oh. I am so happy. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my God, you know you want to try this. Mmm. <laughs> this is the absolute perfect texture right here. Has a snap, has a crunch, has a bite. Again, and I'm, a, I'm saying this to be serious. I cooked this thing for like literally eight minutes on the stove in front of you here. On every other stove, one minute. I'm telling you. I'm running an extension cord through the apartment that's plugged into the, the receptacles in the kitchen because if I do it here, the fuse burns out and we get in trouble. It's already happened. So <clears throat> the strength of the electricity is not as strong. It is not as strong as if you do it in the kitchen. Again, for the 5,000th five, five time. I know you're so annoyed, but I'm just telling you. Mm. <laughs> Mm, um, I am sweating. It feels so good. Mm. <sighs> oh. 
I love life. <clears throat> and I love you for watching this. Watch me enjoy my ramen. Look. Don't even talk to me right now. I am enjoying this and we're almost done. I told you I'm starting to get a little full, so this is perfect. <clears throat> perfect. Can you believe I almost starved today? I almost starved today. This prevented me from starving. I just thought of something too. Hello. Hi. Excuse me, there's no... <clears throat> this is... <clears throat> Perfection. I could have threw a... Sixth pack in there. Look at me, I'm so fat. Did I just admit to you that I've already had two packs today for breakfast? Yeah. So we've had 4,000 calories today, but honestly, when you're this big, you need calories. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna have some chips now. <laughs> Chopstick down. Chopstick down. Last bites. Here we go. Man. Let's do my vitamins. Well, that was fun. That was delicious. Oh, man. This is how I wish every mukbang could go, but y'all have to be entertained. <clears throat> so, today was just one of those days where I, I feel like doing anything except eating. 
All you people are too much. Entertain me. Be funny. Ride on that scooter so we can tell you how fat you are. Uh, <clears throat> okay, that's gonna be kind of gross. Did that hit the spot or what? Ah! Uh, if you're new to my life, if you just happen to stumble across my channel last week or something, let me tell you, let me tell you, let me tell you. Ramen noodles are my number one true love. I enjoy a lot of food out there. Jolly Bee fried chicken, Popeye's fried chicken, Church's chicken. I like Cheesecake Factory. I love Taco Bell. I love Dairy Queen. I love a and I love Long John Silver's. I love some good Wendy's. I love a McDonald's. I like breakfast menu Burger King. I like breakfast menu Sonic. I like, okay, I'll stop. <clears throat> I like a lot of food, but when it comes to ramen noodles, it is number one for me, which I think is great because they're so affordable. <laughs> okay, we're really doing this probiotic. Okay, okay. Happy. Next, we're doing more things. Again, my dietitian, she watches this, so don't say you take, okay, I have a dietitian. Last round. <laughs> B12, under the tongue. A little gummy for something else. <clears throat> something, some vitamin C. <clears throat> Woo wee! Woo wee! Was that good or what? Oh, I'm such in a good mood. You know what I noticed today too? I haven't had any heart bumpy bumps all day long. I've been meat free today. Oh my god, don't say the vegan the fit. No, say vegan. I'll tell you a little secret. <clears throat> Since we're at the end, usually the people who actually care about me are made this far. Most people who are here for the drama or the laughs or they just want to see me eat because they're hungry. They they're not sitting for the whole thing. So the people who made it this far, you guys are like you guys know me more than most people. You see both sides. You see I'm Jekyll and Hyde. Actually I have like seven sides. It's true. It's true, I saw a psychic and they're like, you have a lot of personalities. Have you been checked for that? I'm like, yep. <laughs> <clears throat> well, excuse me. What was I gonna talk about? Oh, yeah, I was meat free today. I've been having some bumpy bumps in my heart lately, I don't know, but, excuse me. They come and go very, usually it's if I start exercising more than usual. I mean, I did make the bed yesterday, so maybe that was it, but. <sighs> In all seriousness, though, um, I was discussing with Orland because you guys know I ate a lot of ramen noodles in Colombia before, because in the United States, we didn't, I mean, when we lived in Colombia, we did not have buffalo wild wings. We did not have church's chicken or Popeyes. We did not have Chick-fil-A. We did not have Wendy's. We did not have Raising Cane's Ill or, you know, Carl's Jr. or In-N-Out Burger or Fat Burger or Jollibee or anything. Wingstop, Buffalo Wild Wings, no, 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 no. Checkers, no. Wiener Schnitzel, Sonic Drive-In, nothing. We had McDonald's <clears throat> and Domino's Pizza. So a lot of my videos, when I first started becoming a mukbanger, I did a lot of ramen because we would purchase them from Asia, they get shipped to the United States, and then we would ship them from the United States to Colombia. You can't ship Burger King. You can't ship, well, we did have a Burger King there, but I only ate there twice. But you know what I mean? Like, all the less restaurants are just named to you. <clears throat> Dairy Queen, nothing. We'd had nothing. Steak and Shake, The Habit, Panda Express. I mean, the list goes on. We don't have anything. So we would just ship the ramen because, you know, it's dry, it's packaged, whatever. And so I, I did a lot of ramen. And I started getting a little weight. I started getting a little crazy, my, my mental disorders. But Orla and I were saying things were a lot less bad <clears throat> than they are now with, like, mental disorders and bodily issues and my weight. He thinks that if I just <clears throat> would have stuck to the ramen, but ramen's not healthy either. So I'm not saying, <clears throat> the story is I stopped being vegan for health, but then I started doing mukbangs for money and for followers. And you know, my period between, okay, let's stop being vegan, let's try to be healthy to, oh, let's do mukbangs for money, was only a couple months. 
It was probably two or three months. I felt very good though. All I did was add sardines to my plant diet and took out beans because they're, they're, they don't jive with me at all. I felt so much better, but <clears throat> <clears throat> this happened. <sighs> so what I'm even trying to say to you, all I'm trying to say to you is that today I haven't had any bumpy bumps in my heart. And so that's really good. And I definitely feel hungrier. It's a lot of carbs, so I got hungrier faster. I was ravenous at the beginning of this video. I feel a lot more settled now. I have to put this in the freezer ASAP. We always keep this in the freezer before we say, ew. No, those are frozen. <clears throat> Shine bright like a diamond. <laughs> anyway, man, did this taste good. Someone thought on my main channel I was shading another person on YouTube. I was not. Um, I don't even watch that person. I know of this person. And people are like, oh, this shit. Well, no. one person said something. It had maybe 50 likes or something. Again, that video already has 3,000 comments, so I don't even care. It's going to have 30,000 by the time I die. But what I am saying is I don't shade people very often on the internet. I really, I really don't. I really don't. My left eye does keep twitching. It's been twitching for like two weeks straight, everybody. I'd say like 20 times every half hour. No, more than that. Once every two minutes. So do the math. It's a lot. Ugh. Can't wait to be through with that one. I like the orange flavor. The raspberry flavor is just gross to me. And I like raspberries. I do. <clears throat> Ooh, some fresh raspberries or raspberry yogurt. Mm, raspberry creamsicle pop oh, a popsicle. Mm -hmm. I can give you some raspberries. But I really can't do the orange. I, excuse me. I can't do the raspberry powder. The the vitamins. I can only do the raspberry. Raspberries. <laughs> That's so fun to say. Get them those raspberries. <laughs> I give me some raspberry clam sickles. Mm, some raspberry, some raspberry, some raspberry. I give me some raspberry. Yeah, I like raspberries. <laughs> give me some raspberries. I need to stop. I crack myself up. The yogurt. I used to do yogurt all the time. I'm kind of. See, this is what happens too for my new viewers who are always finding me. Um, <clears throat> I tend to like, I'll talk for a little introduction for the people who want a little life update and then I'll start eating. Usually the first part of me eating, I'm like slamming it in because I'm starving. By the time the food's through me, my mind starts working again. It's like, ah, sugar, glucose, ooh, energy. Like, ooh, I can work again. And then I sit here and start talking. <clears throat> I want to see how many subscribers I have now. Oh my gosh, the first thing we type my name is weight gain. Excuse me, I am not that fat. I have 743,000 on this channel. My main channel uh, has 2.5 million. My third channel also has 780,000. So my goal is for the daily channel, this one, and Nikocado 3, the one I just posted on yesterday. Make sure you go to, make sure you go to Nikocado 3, all right? That's, a, that's my second biggest channel. This one's the third, <clears throat> even though it's the fifth channel, but whatever. Uh, what was I saying? I don't even know. This was so good. And every time I do spicy ramen noodles, it makes me think of my lo my life and my, my little apartment in Colombia with Mr. Noodle. Uh, it was nice. It was different. I know I was younger. It's so weird to think about how I helped old I've gotten and how many years have gone by and I wouldn't change anything even though there's been so many setbacks and so many hardships they've I've either, I've either learned something from them or something better came out of it and I didn't realize at the time but I it's like a storm cloud and the storm cloud goes away and then now there's a beautiful rainbow or you get this beautiful sunset or you know someone misquote well 
they didn't, they didn't misquote me. They took my exact words. Where I, what was I talking about? Oh, like bad things in life, how they can still bring, bring about beautiful things. And I mentioned the Holocaust and how like, oh, well, you know, there's always something good and everything. So there's something bad in everything. And then I mentioned, I don't know what wording I said, but I was just like, oh, yeah, even the worst things like the Holocaust. We, we got beautiful music. We got um, more laws. We got um, beautiful art. Again, it shouldn't have happened. I was only trying to show people that there's good in everything. Everything. <clears throat> I know right now everyone's worried about the climate and stuff, and there's people that are saying, like, if this changes, well, then this is going to happen, or this this plant will do better, or this species will thrive for the first time ever because of this. Something good can still happen. doesn't mean it's good that it happened, but it's a way of trying to look at things differently to not feel crappy all the time. That's all I was trying to say. And this person was just like, you know, this person is lost. He's... I'm like, okay... Maybe I didn't explain myself well, you know, but that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking of some of the, the crap I've gone through in life over the past five years of being a mukbanger, and there's like three major, four major events that stick out to me as like bad, 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 bad. This one I overcame. This one I learned something great from that, damn, that taught me good. This one I learned something great from, and dang, that taught me good. And the fourth one... <clears throat> I learned something like I don't know I feel I feel like I've improved in different ways too from these things like I feel more confident I feel better they always say this too when you talk to like people who are into better uh what's it called self-help and um self-help books or whatever things that kind of like you work on yourself and you have a vision board and you aspire for this and you what do they say? You're supposed to align yourself with your goals. And you're supposed to give yourself daily affirmations. Da, da, da. It's so, a lot of the people who talk about that stuff are too much. They're too much. You know, I've tried to get into that stuff. And I'm a believer because I, I'm a believer that if you do good, good happens. Or, you know, you plan, whatever. But some of the people who, the messenger, the people who tell you about this, they're just so cuckoo. Or they're just too much. Oh, they're doing too much. It's just too much. It's too much. I just can't. It's too much. It's so cringy. I can't. No, 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 no. There's this one girl I used to follow, and everything was just too... It was so fluffy. I can't stand fluffy people. Can't stand them. I kind of like a person that's kind of straight up, even if they're mean. I prefer a mean person over a fluffy person. Be mean to me, please. <laughs> yeah. I know that I think about it. Mm hmm I tend not to do well with people who are... I like... What do they call them? Straight shooters. Just kind of like... Kind of just say it. Because there's less... The ones that are fluffy can hide the most. And then you're left wondering. And they can also do the worst. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? They, they can do the They can F up the most amount of things. Because they're fluffy. They're fluffy. They're fluffy. And a lot of times they do. So anyways. See, this is what I do. I eat my I eat my food, I do my videos, and then my mind goes, woo. And I can't stop talking. Well, this was outstanding. I kind of want some chips, but I'll eat that off camera. This is long enough. Yeah, I'm craving some. Um, I don't know, what am I craving? I love corn chips lately. I love me some good corn chips. Yeah, but yeah, today I haven't had any, um... Now, again, I, this is not healthy, so it's just... I probably should keep this to myself anyway, but... <clears throat> uh, listen, there's nothing I do on YouTube that you should go and run and do it, too, just because you see me do it. Pfft. Take this as a movie. Well, you're watching a movie. Okay. Okay. Oh, is that Nancy? I did have to, I hired an attorney last, a different attorney for something that I had to do, take, taken care of. And um, this attorney, he looks very scary in his photos. And he has very good reviews too, but um, his photo, I'm like, ooh, I, I feel very intimidated just looking at your photo. It's really horrible that people judge by photos. <sighs> but 
people judge by photos. I mean, you can't erase that from, we judge by what we see. How else do you, how else do you make an educated guess? Or how else do you, how else do you feel, you know, try to decide if you feel right about something or, and I know then it can lead to, you know, discriminations and, you know, in Colombia, when you apply for a job, now I don't know if this is true anymore, but back in the day, hearing from Orland's family, that you have to put your photo on your resume. Could you imagine if we had, if it was mandatory to have a photo on our resumes here in this country? Certain types of people would not get hired ever by anyone unless they really wanted that type of person. So um, I guess and things like that, you don't want to, also depends on what you, depends what the job is, to be honest with you. It depends what the job is and it just, and you're like, well, what Nick, what jobs out there really depend on what you look like. I can think of a bunch. Being in, involved in like the entertainment industry, think about film and it's it's nothing personal. If you don't look how what what, what we what we're looking for, you ain't getting the part. <laughs> you ain't getting the part. Oh um, so there's a lot of jobs where I can think of another one. Also musicals and um something else which I don't want to say but y'all know. If there's a theme, it's a thing like the Rockettes and stuff that you have to be a certain height. You have to. I could never audition for the Rockettes ever because I'm fat. Would it be discriminatory if I applied for the Rockettes and I'm like, well, they didn't choose me because I'm fat? No. I can't do what's required. <laughs> I ain't getting hired. And for some reason, that's really controversial too. People are like, oh, I can understand about like. I don't know if I can say the word on YouTube, but it starts with an R. <clears throat> and I'm, you know, the color, totally understand. But in terms of height, ability, skills, weight, I kind of hate to say it. I mean, I mean, listen, I'm 350 pounds, and I know that it would not be as visually pleasing if they were all different sizes, mumble jumble. Like, think of a nice necklace, a bunch of beads. It's visually pleasing if all the beads are the same size. Imagine if it was like, it, I mean, if that's what you're going for. Arts and crafts, mumble jumble, jim jump, you know, jig jump, you know, then you get your thing. You get your necklace that's all over the place. But if you want something seamless and or, it's, I think people just apply for a different job. There's, uh, that's my opinion, you know, <clears throat> and it's not political. It's, it's more like cultural. It's like, listen, there's some things that don't be all bent out of shape because you can't, because you you know dang well, I mean, it's like, so, and that happens all the time again in the film industry. So, I watched this one interview. This guy, this guy was complaining because he didn't get a certain part he thought he should have, and it was like, but you, the character is not supposed to look like you. It's just not, and I understand we can do makeup and we can change everything. Think of Meryl Streep and how much she's been altered with makeup and fake stuff, and I mean, <clears throat> so yes, that that's a thing too. Um, I think people take things too seriously sometimes, and I know that's the irony of my shows. I kind of like, I take the most obnoxious things about this society, and I sensationalize it, and that's what I do for comedy. Um, but that's deliberate, and that's by me choosing to do that, because I know it's funny, because it's true. <laughs> Sometimes, I mean, yeah, it's stereotypical, duh, 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 but <clears throat> you know, if I, you know, I'm 500 pounds, I'm like, I'm starving, I haven't eaten, I'm gonna starve. That's funny because you're not gonna starve. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna starve. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like I play into that, but <sighs> all right, I'm gonna get going. Thank you for hanging out with me. If you want to support me a little bit extra, please consider subscribing to my Patreon link down below. Grown ups only. All right, we talk a lot about a lot of different subjects, and I curse. I don't believe anything out. So uh, consider that, please. Follow my new channel, link down below. And uh, that's it. I'll see you later. Bye. This was so good. Uh, uh, I feel really good. <coughs> As my body breaks down. Okay, goodbye.
Hi, it's me. I'd like to thank all my patrons for supporting this video and an even bigger thank you to my executive producers, Jamie Baby Cotto, Princess Abby, and C. Butter. If you'd like to support my channel a little bit extra, or if you just want to see the real unfiltered side of these videos, click the link in the description box and consider joining all of us over on Patreon. You'll get to see weekly videos and a much more candid side of me. Oh, and by the way, you have to be a grown up to follow. Patreon's really for my closest followers only and and new openings become available on a first come first serve basis. So if you see an opening, hurry up. And if you want to hear from me personally, get yourself a video directly from me on Cameo, where I can surprise you with a video straight to your phone or your computer. You can also hire me to tell off your friend. If you want more, check out my merch store and get yourself a Waterweight t-shirt. Patreon, Cameo, and merch are all linked in the description box. Thank you so much. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.